This is what makes you a captain. The pressure cooker being between the 100 mile an hour winds and trying to tie your shifter cable together so you don't die. We're picking up anchor now. We're going to try to get to a safer spot. All right, so here's Hurricane Barrel. It's howling in here. We're deciding right now to pull a move. We are going to get off the boat. What's up guys, welcome back. This week, we don't really know what's gonna happen, but the big storm, what is the hurricane name, Matt? Barrel. Barrel, it's spelt weird, that's a weird name, Barrel. And it's barreling toward Puerto Rico, I think that's why they named it that. <laughs> don't say that. We're here back at the boat this week. We just got to the marina. We have to unload our dinghy and we have to get out to the boat. We have some cleaning to do today and then prepping the boat for this hurricane. We obviously don't want to lose our boat. Yeah, it's still up in the air exactly where it's going to hit, but it's, it is a major hurricane at this point, like a Cat 3 at least. So this is a strange one. They said it's going to be a busy year. So... You know, it's kind of hard to predict. It's gonna, right now it's saying it's gonna, the eye's gonna go by at about 200 miles south of us, but we've seen these hurricanes change before where they jump up 40, 50 miles. If this one were to do that, I think it'd be pretty extreme where the boat is at right now. So we have to go get it prepped. I'd love to be on the farm snuggling with my goats, but you know, you gotta take care. You know, they always say in life, you, you dance with the one that brought you. So I, we gotta go out and we gotta do a lot of cleaning get on some bottom work, clean the prop, make sure everything runs. It's going to be a nightmare. It is a scorcher today. So, you know, I'm sure Christian we got to get out there. We'll, we'll talk more when we get out there. Yeah, massive spider webs, first glance. They were right there too. Massive spider webs. I don't know if you can see them on camera, but you're dealing with that, buddy. It's not looking ideal for you. We're back on the boat and it feels good. It's been a long time. It's pretty windy out already, but we're gonna have to go inside and investigate, see how bad it's dirt got moldy and spider webs and bugs. So we'll see about that but it feels pretty good to be back on the boat, not gonna lie. Whoa. This feels, feels hot in here and a little bit stinky, but overall, pretty cool. Feeling like we might wanna move back on. This feels like an adventure already and we're just getting on the boat. Boats have magic. I feel like our boat has a lot of magic to it. All right, so, so far we're like, whew, five for five on everything. The lights work, the toilet worked, uh, the bilge works, the bilge is dry. Everything, the fans are on, so everything's working really well, which is nice because we haven't been in the boat in quite some time. The uh, cushions look a little dingy, but it is what it is. We'll just that. wash them. We'll just wash them. But uh, so now I'm next thing I'm going to do is clean the fridge because it's a science experiment in there. But I am going to get my engine running 
Uh, get that up and idling just to let that go for a little bit to make sure I'm not overheating because who knows, who knows what's happening at that boy. All right, so I got the fridge cleaned up. The thing is working perfectly. Ooh, it's already getting crispy cold in there. So that's gonna be good. I'm gonna have some cold water for Kirsten because she's gonna be sweating to the oldies in here. I'm going to jump in the water now, get my anchor chains cleaned, um, check on the status of the bottom of the boat. I'm sure like it's a nightmare. And then I gotta clean the prop and I got to clean the intake for the, the raw water intake because it'll be hard to run the boat without a clean prop. And if the raw water intake is clogged, it'll overheat. So I gotta jump in there. The water doesn't look too clear and beautiful today, so I'm not super stoked about it, but it is hot and I, you know, I am happy that I'll get a little cool down. All right, so I was stacking up some wins today and everything was going good. All my systems were working right. The boat's been sitting untouched for about six months. So with the wedding and stuff, we, we haven't been taking care of it for a while. So I was really happy and surprised that everything was working so good, but I had to take my first L. Um, I noticed that the prop was super uh, overgrown with barnacles and stuff like that. I got a coral reef on the bottom, but I got that loose and it was so i went to put the put the boat in gear and uh it snapped my shifter cable i was like uh oh that wasn't good so my shifter cable snapped uh kind of a bummer but i think Especially i didn't bring, with the hurricane coming. yeah hurricane's <laughs> coming but in about 24 hours we're gonna have some big winds in here and some big swell so if I were to have to move it, I'd have to get it done tomorrow. But the engine, thank God, is working well. So if I had to go down there in a pinch, I could just put it manually in gear and then it would just kind of be an issue if I had to do any sort of tight navigation. But I think the shifter cable's new. It's a piece of crap, obviously. It already corroded in a year. But I think I can tie it up 
for today and just to see if I can shift it, put it in forward, put it in reverse. And then if I, if that's working, then I'll bring some tools with me tomorrow early in the morning. I'll get a more uh, solid grip on there and I'll be able to, I'll be able to get it done and get it right. So this is the first of the first attempt to see if it'll even shift with this little rope tying it on together. And then if it does, we're cool and I know I can make it better. But if it's still for some whatever reason not working, I have to go back to the drawing board and figure it out. This is what makes you a captain. The pressure cooker being between the 100 mile an hour winds and trying to tie your shifter cable together so you don't die. So you may be wondering why I got this feather in my cap. It's because I did just fix it in the most ghettoest way of possibles. Um, I possibles? Took a, possibles. I took a old phone cord that had some thin wire and I was able to feed it through and, and weave it and cinch it up so that it, it does shift now. So now I know that it won't be a problem. I went ahead and cranked it up, put it in forward gear, put it in reverse. Um, everything worked fine. So we could move the boat right now if I had to. I don't know how thrilled I'd be having to use that. I don't think it's gonna work for that many rotations. Um, it's probably only gonna work five or six times before that wire goes back and forth and breaks, but the theory does work in practice. So it's, um, I'm gonna have to bring something tomorrow morning to make it a little bit more robust, and then uh, I think we'll be safe to go. So as of right now with the boat, we have a way to keep our food and drinks cold, a toilet to use, a engine that works forward and reverse so i think everything's working really well i think if we have to go on a mission to save this boat tomorrow if this storm don't stay don't stay way down south we'll be able to boogie and put it in a spot that's a little bit safer and be a little bit nicer you know what? it probably wouldn't kill us to spend a night on a boat you know could be good for the romance get a little maddie jr going i don't like that face you have all right, so before I had goats on the farm, a lot of you, only the real OGs may remember this relic. If you do remember it, let me know what it is, where I found it, and why I decided to keep it, because what I kept it for, I have not done with it yet. So let me know in the comments below. We got on the boat a little later than we expected today and it seems like, sorry, I didn't mean to kick you. It seems like everybody's taking this storm not too seriously around here. It doesn't seem like anyone's doing anything special for their boats. We are not gonna go that route. We are going the route of rather be safe than sorry. Because Matt believes, what do you believe? That it's going to be a little worse than people are expecting? I think it's, my experience in this anchorage is that every, there's been about five named storms go by here. And every single time it was way worse than anyone anticipated. This is the chill zone. This is the, we don't really want to do too much when you come here and you anchor up. So this is everybody just kind of, I think, tricks themselves into saying, we'll just manifest it not being a problem. But I think it's going to be an issue and I'm getting my boat out of here. So we're picking up anchor now. We're gonna to try to get to a safer spot. We have seen it's a lot different nowadays because you can look online and people have like lives on TikTok to see the storm. And it looked like it was in Grenada or Granada, whatever you want to call it. Two. It was in there and it looked not too bad, but from all the reports, people are acting like it's getting worse and worse. So let's hold on. Mainstream media hysteria. <laughs> All right, the first tanker I gotta go get is out the back, so I gotta jump in and go free it manually. There's a crab crawling on Matt's back, and it's really creepy. 
the mail. Now it's on his head. All right, so easy breezy, that second anchor is up. Now we have to get our front anchor. Since we are having that little issue with the shifter, I obviously can't just tell Kristen, go forward, go backwards, go forward, go backwards. So it's a pretty stiff wind. It's about 30 knots today, right now. But it's we're getting some shelter. We're pretty close to the mangrove. So I'm thinking maybe I can find my inner beast and pull it. Um, I'm oh boy. not so sure I'm going to be able to. It's a pretty brisk wind, but you know, I can only put her in gear a couple times, so I don't want to take her to in and out. So we'll see how she goes. Well done, Captain K. She killed it. I had no doubts in her at all. But we did good. We're coming out. It's going to be a little bit of a wavy, wavy trip, but it shouldn't be too terrible. And you know, once we get in where we're going, it should be nice and calm. stronger and better shape now that I've worked, been working on the farm. I could feel it when I pulled that anchor. I just snatched that thing right up like it was nothing. For some reason I felt like I was in pretty bad shape when I was a sailor boy. And speaking of sailor boys, they have gone soft. My dog, they used to pull his anchor by hand too. Mo and Brandy. I heard you got a windless boy. When you see me, don't even look at me. Get your coat and you don't say goodbye to nobody. Can't believe you got a windless on it. If, if your boat starts with a three, you're not allowed to have a win, but I still love you, BB. Shout out to the Brandy fans. Shout out to the Brandy fans. Brandy's probably still a real one, but Bo. Holy Brandy. Oh, yeah, Bo. Bo, I hope you're getting your nails did wherever you at. Just get your cuticles pushed back. Right, it was a long ride. We had to fight against a pretty stiff current and some swell already coming in. Um, I probably would have taken that time to scrape the bottom if I didn't have to fix my shifter cable. Uh, with the shifter cable issues, I did not get to clean the bottom, but it definitely would have helped and I wish I would have waited. I could have took 30 minutes to clean the bottom and it would have saved me an hour on this trip. So I lost a little money on that deal, but it'll be all right. We're pulling in now and should be nice. I think there's two boats in the anchorage, but it's a pretty big, 
Anchorage, so there's going to be plenty of room for everybody. I don't think nobody else will make the mad dash out here, so I think we'll be good. That's the northern tip of the storm, the furthest northern tip. You can see those multiple layers of clouds going way up and you see that flat one across the bottom. So that goes pretty far into the islands. Um, so it should be getting pretty rowdy here in the next hour or so. And that's the problem with the apps. I feel like a lot of people watch the app and they're like, oh, the eye is 200 miles away. But with a storm like this, I think it's already a cat five at this point those bands are going to go way up the eye itself the gusting eye is bigger than puerto rico so this is a pretty massive storm i feel like people were super calm about it i hope they're right but i think the weather's going to start hitting the fan here in the next hour or two it's going to be pretty rough all night and it's going to be real rough tomorrow morning so i am glad i'm not in the bay i'm in this bay anchoring about 17 feet of water 100 feet of anchor chain out so uh we're doing good we're looking good and i think we're gonna be chef's kiss throughout the night and it's gonna be a good little reintroduction to the boat This is the first sunset we've seen in a long time on the boat. Wasn't the best, but it was really cool still. Still felt magical. We're gonna have our first sundowners back on the boat, but don't worry, we're not having that many drinks. Obviously, we have to be. As a hurricane, so we're each gonna have one blue moon light. We're gonna keep so, it. We gotta be focused tonight. I'm kind of already feeling a little nervous about having to be inside of the boat, shut in from the rain with just a little fan, you know. She got spoiled on the RV's spoiled. AC. And, and we got only cold showers, so I got a cold shower coming my way tonight. Yeah, you heard ACDC, she's RV AC. That's her band name. But uh, yeah, so we're popping out here. We got our pink light on, it's pinkies. And uh, you know, the boat does have magic, but at the end of the day, I hope that this hurricane was just an excuse for us to come have a nice couple of boat days. I hope that's what it is too. <laughs> Band is out there. The last boat looks like he's coming in to take refuge from the storm. There's a little neighborhood up there, so that's probably where he's headed. So yeah, the weather wasn't supposed to get here, the bad weather, according to the apps, till like 10 a.m. tomorrow, but I think it's gonna get pretty pretty rowdy throughout the night here, so hopefully we get some rest. Strong 
right now, but it's been very calm. We were up all night long. We we're exhausted. We were so happy to get back with the boat life, but then we were like, oh yeah, now we remember what this was like. We were cleaning at the music on and it was all elation. But uh, yeah, now we're like both exhausted, up all night long, and the winds are coming in. It's supposed to be, the swell outside is supposed to get up to three to four meters, and um, the winds are supposed to get up to like 40, 50 mile an hour gusts today. So, you know, nothing crazy. It should really be over with completely by like 4 p.m. So we don't know what exactly our plans are, but everyone up in the mountains, the weather has completely missed the mountains. It's only blowing like 12 miles an hour up there. So we're doing good, but you know, it's a hurricane. It destroyed the, the islands down there, smoked them. So you can never be too careful. It looks like this one mostly missed us and we probably would have been fine just staying put, but I'm glad that we did the right thing. howling in here. We're deciding right now to pull a move. We are going to get off the boat because we think that it might just be safe in here and we kind of want to look. We want to see is it just safe in this bay and we're doing a great job because I mean there it's gusty and our boat's kind of ripping around but it's nothing too bad. Yeah we almost feel like we could go back home now and go take the big boat out and anchor but I want to be sure because we could just abate the right call and be in a really safe, tranquil bay. And if we try to go out there, it might be mayhem. So we're gonna go peek our head out and see what barrel's throwing at the mangroves right now. Yeah, so there's a pathway through the mangroves that we can take our dinghy <coughs> so we're not going directly out there and then we're gonna peek out. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. This might get wet. We haven't been using our outboard engine very much for the past year, so it does act up a little bit. It's been stalling out. You can see I got the blisters all over my finger from pulling this rope so many times. Hopefully it should work though, but we're gonna be staying close to the mangroves, so hopefully we, it all works We got out. paddles, but against the current and waves. We do got paddles, but it ain't easy to paddle against 40 knots. That's the breaking waves going into the mangroves here. So even in the very protected area, there's still some swell coming in and forming. So out there, once you get out on the reef, it's like, you know, 10, 15 feet today. So it's uh, pretty gnarly, not easy. I'm glad we're in, in our safe harbor. That's our secondary anchor that we have ready. Just in case, <laughs> just in case. So the hurricane luckily was uneventful. I, we still are glad that we came out here because as you could see from the dinghy ride, it was kind of wavy, it was kind of crazy and you'd rather be safe than sorry. We don't ever want to take our boat for granted and just leave it out on the hook. Yeah. So we're sailing back now to put it back. We might look at the waves because Matt's thinking about maybe surfing. I'm gonna ride by and have a look. I, I don't think it's looking as good as it did yesterday. It kind of, it blows by quick on the south coast here. You gotta kind of be on it. And 
you know, we could have, I could have went out yesterday and had Kristen towing me in on those 10, 15 footers, but our dinghy isn't running a hundred percent great. So, you know, you don't want to go out there with your equipment. And I don't think I'm an expert dinghy driver. You'll get the skills when my life is on the line. You just, it's like how you Or I accidentally it. just run you over. Either way, you've been running, <laughs> you've been running me over for a couple of years now. So, you know, it ain't nothing new. But either way, I might look at the waves, but really I'm just wanting to hurry up and get back, get settled, get anchored, clean the boat up and get back to my sweet, sweet aminals. All right, guys, let's kick it. Let's, no, we're not hitting sail. Sorry, guys. We're not hitting sail. We are back at the farm, the property, whatever you want to call it, and everything pretty much stayed the same. It looked like it was a little bit windy. There was some bamboos down here and there, but all animals are good. Everything else is good, except an iguana ate all my pumpkin parts. Yep, I got punished for being so friendly with them damn iguanas. Not all of them. We were gone for a couple days, so one got over that fence and the cat tripped down my little net that was keeping them out. He went right down the line, just. <sighs> and I said. Oof. Luckily, we did put some in that higher box because those are still flourishing. He didn't get to those, but he literally went down the line and munched all the leaves. I think some of them might come back if I keep watering them, but some of them he ate completely gone. So. That yeah, luckily sucks. we had a surplus, but it, it should be fine. We, we should still get pumpkins. Maybe I, this will let me twist Big Mama's arm to where I can build myself a proper pasture and put some wire up and keep all I the animals I want to build out. the fence and do all that, but we have other projects. There's so many projects going. This is true, There's but yeah, so it was projects. great going back to the boat. The boat was fun for a couple days. Like I even got my dead dolphin shirt on. Bam! Coolest shirts that were ever made by any sailing YouTubers across the lands. I'm just saying Humble it. Breath. I'm just calling it how it is. But yeah, it was great to be out of the boat. It was great to come back. It was good to know that we can leave for one and two days and the worst thing that happens is the pumpkins get napped. But all the animals were great. Everything was perfect. Pee Pee, Lil Pee Pee was the last one to come back of the cats. So I was like, no, not Pee Pee. But he did come out of the bushes eventually. So it was great. So either way, anything else you gotta say? No. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you check out our Patreon if you want to see any real-time updates, and we'll see you next week. Bye.